How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents... You know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister... I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. The cops are not gonna be chasing after you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have a tough time getting a new ID. You should've just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Can I ask you a few questions? Anything for my sister. Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks, down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipments. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition. Gas guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. Thanks for putting your greasy hands on me. I'm now charged with a fuckload of electricity, and any further physical contact will result in you being. Toast. Uh-oh, it bites. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then? That's so last century. I 
think that's quite enough. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fucking off? Warren called you on my behalf. Warren Hughes, you know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but... So, fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you'd think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a slag like you to understand. I'm not a slag. Ah, so you're a gangbanger. Baby, there ain't enough here worth shit, you know? I got no beat with your posse, so fuck off. No, no, I'm... A corp, yeah. I'd recognize a corp bitch anywhere. I'm legit, no funny stuff. Got my corp permit right here in my little hand two weeks ago. And I only do inventory by appointment, so you're gonna have to phone me up there, toots. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I'm a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours, and he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think it was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't in the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the blipper. Like I bite because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Well, you're such a bastard. Listen, if I was out to arrest you, don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit, my channel with Warren was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked. You let me in. We spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren. Right, yeah. Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. The Flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah. Oh, you his baby. Yeah. Oh, sure, I date 15-year-olds all the time. Whatever. So, the fuck do you want? I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The Flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information, any kind of information, I guess you can't help me. 
Fuck yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was, better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams, the emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard, or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. What do you mean? Details! Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman! There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map! Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns, yeah. Beautiful. Ha! See ya! Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Could you? Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little plaything, I'd kick you out. And hey, whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Precious information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flipster. So, what can you tell me about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Just step over to the screen there, and I'll play it back for you, okay? To join in the effort, we must charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies and their disinformation to the people of our planet. We must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not, by nature, a man of violence, nor are you. I know that. 
that. But the time comes when all people must do their duty to protect their ideology and to preserve their beliefs. That time has come. Our time has come. must to defend our beliefs against the heretics. We will go to war if that's what it takes. Who was that? He was incredibly charismatic but cold. What do you think? Your friend and mine, Mr. Jacob McGallum. Head honcho of the Church of Voltec, or the Vanguard if you wish. Supposed peaceful philosopher dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, it's clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? That's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info in this data cube, yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. From what I can tell, the Vanguard are up against an enemy they call the Fathers of the Sentinel. I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap, it's just bullshit. But, both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important, so when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking thing. He's trying to control these powers he has? They fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up. Split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too. You know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now, he runs the whole dark side of the Church of vault -Tec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over. After old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know, maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses, and I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Jaquita. But, whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucks with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit! You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you... Why are you doing it? That's, uh... Very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant. Cover operations, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me. 
but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the vault the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Which is? MTI, Malkuth Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bokamba Mercer. Freaked the hell out of me, but it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI, some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And do you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are located? I'm the flipper, dude! What the fuck do you think? Shit! Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ! You're kidding, yeah? It's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. How do I get there? Sorry, babe. A slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. you gotta have proper ID, top level ID, to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking... What do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit! Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like... Three hundred dollars. Ha! <laughs> Try twenty k on for size shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's I just may, <laughs> it'll still come to fifteen thousand dollars, baby. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita. That urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! Shit, it gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? If you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> you're weird. So are you. Thanks. S sure.
Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Damn, damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. I feel so bad. And I love it. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm. Or worse, getting fried by that military-grade laser. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Another unfortunate... I'll be right up! Is this what you need? Whoa! Heavy duty! That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah! Hey, with this I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent! So how soon can you have the ID ready? Ah, uh, a couple of days. A couple of days? I need it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl.